Making Basic Calls Part 1. Today I'll show you how to make a call because sometimes old-fashioned handwritten notes just don't do the trick anymore. So how do we how do we make that call? Several ways to be able to do that. One way is within a toolbar. It's a quick and easy access at the top of your screen, so I'll show you how to use the toolbar and also how, how to add in the dial pad. For those of you who like to physically punch in the numbers, we'll add a dial pad to making those calls much easier. In the next series, I'll show you how to use the directory, multiple ways on how to do that, get into the details of the call history, and how to call on behalf of a work group. Let's go ahead and make our very first call. At the top of my screen, in my toolbar, you'll notice where it says enter a name or number to dial. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click in the box and enter in a phone number. You'll notice if I've called that number before, it populates on the screen below. Also, I didn't put any dashes, which are not necessary. I can just type the number in as I would if I were dialing it on the phone. As soon as I'm done and ready to make that call, I can click enter and automatically shows that the call, call is connected. Next, I'll show you how to make a call by utilizing a dial pad. We can add our dial pad to our screen by going up to the top in our toolbar to File, to New, to View. What is a view? A view is a new tab, and I'm going to place this tab at the top portion of my screen. We automatically get a Create a New View pop-up window. We can group by categories or by products. And since it's already on categories, I already noticed that dial pad is selected. I'm going to go ahead and click on dial pad. You'll notice over to the right hand side it says dial pad. What is it? It gives an explanation here in the dark gray. A dial pad enables you to dial a phone number to initiate the call, send a DTMF tones to a connected call to make selections from an automated telephone menu system or to end a connected call. The dial pad can also send DTMF tones through a connected SIP soft phone. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Automatically it pulls forward that dial pad. If you're like me, I like to be able to see my cue and the dial pad at the same time. How do we do that? I'm going to go ahead and click on my dial pad view at the top, just dragging it until I see arrows, and I'm going to let go when I see a dark shadow exactly where I want it to be. So now that I can see over my left hand side, I have my interactions showing my cue and my dial pad over on the right. I can also adjust my columns if needed and make my dial pad a little smaller over to the right. From here, now I can go ahead and punch in the number that I'm going to call. And you'll notice it also populates at the top in my toolbar. When I'm done, all I have to do is hit enter and it automatically will make the call. You can automatically hear that call coming through, showing that it's connected. And of course, when I'm done with the call, I can click disconnect. So that's the second way to be able to make a call. So again, first way up at the top using your toolbar, the second way utilizing your dial pad. In the next short video, we'll go over the remaining ways on how to make basic calls. This has been another just-in-time short video on making basic calls.